Hello and welcome to Ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to create a custom clock in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we are in After Effects and this is what we're going to create today. So I have this clock in here and I have this slider. So if I move on this slider, you can see that the seconds portion of my clock is working. But as soon as I pass 60 seconds, it's going to go back to zero, zero here and start over. And then it's going to give me one minute here. So if I keep increasing this value, it's going to do the exact same thing each time uh, 60 seconds is crossed. So let me show you how to set this up. And by the way, you can download the project file of this tutorial at ukramedia.com slash tip48. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my text here. And then next, I'm going to go into the effects controls panel. And I'll right click and go to expression controls. And I'll click on the slider control. So now I have a slider here. And then next, I'm going to go inside of my text and then go to text here, select my source text and hit S twice on my keyboard to solo it. And then I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch to activate the expression. And inside here, I'm going to set some variables. So I'm going to say slider, you're going to be this. Okay. So next I'm going to do this. So I'm going to say slider and then modulus 60. And so what that does, uh, whatever value that I have in here. So if it goes past 60, it's going to automatically drop it back to zero, zero. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So right now we have the zero because obviously that's the value here. But if I start moving and as soon as I hit 60, you know, it doesn't matter that my value here is higher. It's going to restart basically and go back to zero and then keep going. So that's going to be our seconds. So I'm going to define this as seconds. So that's that. And then after that, we're going to do minutes. So I'm going to say minutes. And in here, we're going to do the following. So we're going to say slider divided by 60. So if I call that expression here. So right now we have this value. So I'm going to start at zero. We have zero and then it kind of goes crazy because we have a lot of uh, decimals here. So, but it's going to be zero the whole time over here for this value until we pass 60. So once we pass 60, it's going to give me one. So we need to round this up and make it a bit more clean. And to do that, we're going to use math period floor expression. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So right now, if I take this value right here, actually, I'll do it on this side. And I'm going to say math period floor. And then I'll put that value in the parentheses over here. So the floor will always keep it zero until it hits past nine. And then I'll give you one. So right now you can't see anything because it's way over here. So I'm going to do control alt home to center the pivot point and then control home to center it in the composition here. Now, if I use a slider, you can see that nothing is happening until I hit past 60. So if I go past 60, then it gives me one. So that's exactly what I want for the minutes to do. So now let's set this up. So in here, I'm going to do the following. So I'm going to say minutes and then I'll do plus and inside there, I'm going to do a colon. So I'll do this and then it's going to add seconds. So if I let go, here's what I have. So I'm going to start over. I have this number It's going to increase. And then once it hits 60, it's going to go back to zero and then it's going to give us one here. But it doesn't look like the clock because, you know, at the beginning we have zeros, but we need two of them. So we want two zeros here and then two here. So to create that, we're going to create a function. And so to do that, I'm going to do this in here. I'm going to say function and then I'm going to create one. So I'm going to say add zero. And then inside here, I'm going to say n, but it can be any variables you want. And let's define our function. I'm going to do an if statement. So I'm going to say if this n, whatever number I type in here, if that thing is less than 10, I want it to return, basically I want it to add zero to it. So I'm going to say add zero plus n. And then if it is greater than 10, I'll say else return. I just want it to see n. So in other words, if it's less than 10, I want it to add zero to the front of my n. And if it's greater than 10, I want it just to be n. Okay, let's close it with a curly bracket. Now I'm going to add this function to both of these. So I'm going to say add zero and put these in parentheses. So watch what happens. So this one is already fixed and I'll do the same thing here. So add zero. And I'm going to center this. Okay. So watch what happens. It's working quite well. And then it's going to give me that one. So that's pretty much it. There are a few things I want to mention before we wrap this up. So right now, if we take this value into negatives, watch what happens. 
you can tell that it's not looking great. And so to fix that, we're going to use an if statement. So I'm going to go in here and I'll say if the slider is greater than zero, I want it to run this expression. So like this. And if it's not, I'll say else. I want it to be zero, zero. So I'm going to do a string and say zero, zero, colon, zero, zero. And then I'll close it with the curly brackets. Okay. And as you can see right now, we're in the negatives. But as soon as I come out of that, it's working just fine. And another thing you can do in a slider here, you can add expressions. So you can all click on the stopwatch here and then add the expressions in here. So I can say time times two. As you can see, the number is crazy. So we need to round this number up. So I'm going to do the floor again. I'm going to do math period floor. And I'm going to put that in parentheses like this. So now it's looking good. So you can do something like this. You can also have a starting point. You can say maybe a thousand seconds minus that value. So it starts at here and then it can come down. So like this, you can see it's counting down. So this is definitely useful. All right. Thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.